Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Alex. Today's a little different. I'm playing some Risk of Rain 2. The game got a, an update not too long ago. This game basically was not getting support on consoles for like a long time. I guess they were, uh, as in their words, they were trying to rebuild or recode the entire game over because I guess there were just a lot of critical problems porting it over from PC to console but i've had this game for quite a while and the game is uh incredibly addicting i can tell you that much roguelikes are always like that right roguelikes are kind of like some of the most fun you can have in a game as long as they they treat it properly and you know there's a lot of uh different build varieties and all that good stuff so i'm just gonna do a little bit of this do a little oh i did not want to pick that i just want to do a little run uh just to see how the game is and give my opinion on it you know at the end of the day i'm not the biggest roguelike guy and obviously there's a lot bigger content creators when it comes to uh risk of rain but shit the game is fun as hell so you know why not play it you know what i mean we always got to try different things variety is the spice of life I feel like I say that almost every single video, but that's the reality of it is that uh, sometimes you get a little bored playing the games that you always play every single day, you know, but this game is incredibly fun, incredibly addictive. So um, also, this is kind of a test of my OBS settings. I've been tweaking my settings uh, just to, you know, see if I can eke out as much quality and performance as I can and make sure the videos look as good as they can. My mic settings are as good as they can. You know, audio for like, I don't know if you guys know a lot about OBS, but stuff like, I think it's called audio ducking. So when I talk, it basically compresses the audio of the game. So you'll hear the audio go down as I talk. And when I be quiet, like now the game should be louder and when i talk it should lower so just just doing some testing so this might not be the best commentary gameplay this might just be me super focused on playing the game and of course like i said i'm just gonna be trying to make sure my settings are good you know always got to make sure i have the best quality for my subs uh once again shout out to you guys for subbing you guys are always the best i really appreciate you guys all the time my channel has grown a lot in such a short amount of time you know it feels like just three four months ago which it probably was three or four months ago i was at like 17 subs so you know for me that's huge for me that 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 gives me some of the best feelings in the world to know i have a, a community no matter how big or how small you guys are i have a community and um yeah i really appreciate you guys sticking by me commenting you know letting me know what you guys think about whether it's phantom forces videos i still get a lot of uh views and comments on some of my old black ops cold war videos i might have to go back to that to be completely honest um but you know saying that i also realize my playstation plus is gonna expire at the end of november so I might not get it back for a little bit just because the prices are just kind of outrageous the the way that sony uh increased the prices and the games aren't even getting that much better like extra and the premium games they're they're not really even getting that much better so it's a little crazy how the prices went up and the quality of games didn't so you know i'm gonna you know being as being a, a dad <laughs> I got to save my money as much as I can. And, you know, I want to get PS Plus just so I can play certain games online. Obviously, playing stuff like Roblox, it's free to play, so I don't have to worry about that. I'll always be able to play that online. But, you know, every now and then I like to hop on a, a, a nice little game of Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War. Uh, you know, not, not really a big fan of the Infinity Ward Call of Duties. Honestly, I actually kind of hate them with a passion. But, you know, Black Ops, Treyarch, they, they have always uh, been good to me, at least, uh, when it comes to multiplayer. I don't think they've ever made a bad multiplayer. They've had some that were worse than others. You know, Cold War obviously isn't as good as, like I said, in my opinion, something like Black Ops 3. I was absolutely addicted to Black Ops 3. Black Ops 2, I think, for me, is um, the, the top of the series, right? Like, that's the best of the best, Black Ops 2. But I loved Black Ops 3. I mean, at the time, I wanted something to compete with Titanfall and be really, really fast paced. And that's what Black Ops 3 was. It was like a dumbed down Titanfall, but in a good way, right? Not saying it was dumb or, or bad, but, you know, Titanfall, you know, had mechs and stuff. And not everybody cared about that kind of gameplay. We just wanted to run on walls and, you know, stuff like that. 
so yeah probably do some some more black ops cold war at least until my playstation plus goes out and then from there it'll be purely roblox um i want to get into some other first person shooters like i said i know you guys subbed to me for roblox and i appreciate that um you know i don't i don't take that for granted at all but you know like i said i've been playing first person shooter since call of duty 3 on the xbox 360 and obviously even before that you know non-multiplayer stuff like i've been playing since golden eye on the nintendo 64 and you know stuff like that like stuff that was just single player first person shooters you know perfect dark right and stuff like that so uh, i definitely want to try to get into some other first person shooters while still making roblox kind of like my main uploads because I, I do love that game um i kind of want to go back to some older battlefield games like i'm not really feeling 2042 even with the new uh what was it called redacted that was basically supposed to be kind of like operation locker slash metro like that close quarters infantry only that map didn't do anything for me it did absolutely jack shit for me the game is still bad and i i still don't care for battlefield 2042 at all but you know i would absolutely go back and play some like Battlefield 1 or 5 or even 4. I know 4 at this point is a little outdated looking, um, but I guarantee you if I hop on the PS4 version of it, because obviously it came, it came out, it was a launch title for PS4. That's how old it is. My God, I can't believe this much time has gone by. Makes me feel so fucking old. But Black Ops 4, or excuse me, Battlefield 4, I mean, I guarantee you I can hop on that shit right now and there's still a lot of people playing it. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's an amazing game and it's kind of like a classic. I wish I could still play Battlefield 3, but I didn't have that on PS... I don't think it came out on PS4, obviously. So, you know, I, I really think about sometimes going back to Battlefield 1 or probably for me, more 5. I didn't really like 1 as much as a lot of people did. I love the maps and the graphics and all that, but a lot of the stuff that they had in that game, like um, the behemoths when your team is losing or when the other team is losing and you get the behemoth, it just like takes your whole focus away from the actual match. And now you're just trying to kill this behemoth, whether it was the big train that drove through the middle of the map or it was uh what was the other one it was like the big ass blimp um i know there's an actual word for it and i'm just completely forgetting what it was uh the zeppelin that's what it was i hated that like i hated the concept of these big giant like monstrosities that completely block your your focus and now you're just trying to take that thing out you know like it was annoying to me but battlefield 5 at least you know i felt like it was better with gunplay there was you know there's always going to be something in every battlefield game i feel like they try to reinvent some some type of thing and it just doesn't work out but i still really enjoyed my time with battlefield 5 i wish that they would have stopped trying to do that dumb shit they were doing where they were trying to like uh change the time to kill all the time and you know they were basically trying to make armor a big part of the game because they had the the battle royale i forget exactly what it was called um firestorm right they had the battle royale and they were really trying to get the armor to be a thing in multiplayer and and they were trying to like extend the time to kill and make it long and you know just a lot of things that nobody ever fucking asked for oh jesus christ i didn't why is there so many things spawning right now this is crazy but yeah, like I, I've, I've been thinking about going back to old Battlefield games like one and five just to try them out because I miss that. I just I, I miss that feeling of Battlefield and taking out vehicles. And like that was always my main thing. I love playing engineer, uh, spawning in a vehicle, helping out my my guys that were in vehicles or taking out vehicles. You know what I mean? Like I always miss uh you know being that guy to take out tanks or take out airplanes you know i just have a rocket launcher and an airplane runs by and you just blow them to shit that was mainly the reason i kept playing 2042 as long as i did was because there's still no other battlefield or excuse me no game like battlefield that gives you that feeling of like you know you're you're taking out these big tanks these uh helicopters and airplanes and you know, like, I, I just love the feeling of shooting an RPG and watching something blow up to shit, you know? Like I said, I'm not ever going to stop doing the Roblox Phantom Forces videos. You know, that's kind of like my go-to right now. My go-to 
even if I don't want to record or, you know, I just want to relax, but obviously I do record those games, but, you know, I just, I'm addicted to it. I'll never stop doing it, definitely. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are wondering where your custom loadouts that you've been telling me to do are. Um, right now, I have a list and the people who were commenting back when i first started uploading their their list is kind of or excuse me their loadout is kind of higher up on that list so there's a lot of things that i'm going to get to i will get to your sniper loadouts but in the beginning you know i wasn't really doing a lot of sniping so people were suggesting more uh you know ar smg loadouts lmg loadouts but trust me, I will get to your uh, sniper loadouts. I know somebody said AWS. Somebody wanted me to use the SKS. I will be using those guns. Trust me, I will. Right now, I just want to get a nice run in of Risk of Rain. You know, talk about it. See if you guys like it. Do you guys enjoy the game? Have you ever played it? You know, I know a lot of people have never played roguelikes like i know a lot of people that are like what the fuck is a roguelike like what does that even mean i've heard of a souls like and you know if you don't know what a roguelike is i'm not really gonna describe describe it because i don't have the best definition right now like i'd have to look it up and obviously i'm in the middle of playing the game but you know basically it's it's exactly what you've been seeing this whole time you have a a bunch of items at the top of my screen that i've been getting and you just play the game and every run is different because every item you get is different every time. You know, sometimes you might get an item that you might not care for at all. And sometimes you might get an item that is exactly what your build kind of needs. You know, it's, it's like the thing that makes your build shine. And then you have different characters. So of course there's different items that each character is good with. So, you know, there's like no real telling exactly what you're gonna get. I know there is ways to kind of figure out like um, what what thing you want to get like there's 3d printers in the game and the 3d printers will basically make it so if there's an item you want you can get a lot of that item in exchange for something else you might have and that's basically what the game is is just opening these boxes randomly and uh, getting more and more powerful every level you're getting more and more powerful but at least with this game there is an ending and there's a lot of there's an ending for a lot of roguelikes that you know you can beat the game quote unquote but it's really meant to just be played continuously over and over and um that's what i love about it is like every game is different every game feels different you can use another character if you get a little bored of playing with the same character over and over you can see i just picked that up chance to fire a missile so now every time i shoot my arrows there's a chance that a missile will go after the enemy oh no 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 not this guy Th this guy has wiped me out so quickly so many times because he's just so powerful i fucking hate him you got to be careful when you got this minigun guy on your back some of these items i still don't know what they do so sometimes you might see me pick something and and you know if you do play risk of rain you be, might look at me and be like why the fuck did he grab that thing honestly i don't know you know, for the most part, I'm still trying to figure out this game uh, myself. I just got back into it, and even when I did play it, I maybe only had like 10 hours of, of actual gameplay in it. So I wasn't really that good. Oh no, I'm about to die. Oh, I died. Well, there you go. I think this is going to be the end of the video, because I definitely want to get back into some Phantom Forces, and I hear my son in the back being a little fussy. He might have to uh, get him a bottle or something, or change his shitty diaper. But um, yeah, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to do a little bit of editing on it, but if you like what you saw, leave a like and comment. Uh, like I said, I'm getting back into Phantom Forces. I am not stopping that, and I might not really even be uploading Risk of Rain 2 all that often. It's kind of like a game I play in my off time, you know, when I don't want to, or I can't play online because i you know i have to w watch out for my son and make sure like if something happens i need to be able to pause the game but um that's really it for this video if you like what you saw leave a comment sub like i really appreciate everybody we're getting so close to 200 it's ridiculous like i said i'm gonna stop saying numbers because by the time i put up my the phantom forces video where i played the operation locker or black site i said 148 i think i was saying how we were close to 150 and now we're at like 160 something you know what i mean so i'm gonna stop saying numbers i'm just gonna say hey we're getting really close to 200 like i said i appreciate every single one of you guys because i didn't think i would be even this close 
to 200 I, I especially being at 17 just a few months back but uh if you like the video like comment sub i really appreciate you guys have a great day and peace out